I read the newspaper every morning. Television from the radio. TV and internet. Television. From the Jazeera. CBC or CNN. The Arabs online. أعتقد إنه التلفزة أعطتني صورة معينة عن الإسرائيليين إنه أعطتني قناعة محددة إنه القتل والدمار والخاصة يعني الاحتلال فلسطين الاحتلال لفلسطين أنا خشيف فلسطينيين متقيم بتوقع تكسرت إسرائيلية خلق ما زمان بمن أغمر خيم كلو تروا ما نحن نسمى فلسطينيين ومسكنين או באור שלילי של הפלסטינאים הם כולם מחבלים ומראים רק את חמאס או רק את הג'יהאד האסלאמי ולא באמת את הפלסטינאי ברחוב. I think that on TV, um, especially in American news, we get presented with the image of either a woman wearing a burqa or a stereotypical suicide bomber or some other sort of terrorist. معظم الأخبار اللي بسمعها أو اللي أنا بتجيني وبتوصلني أنا كشخص فلسطيني كإنسان ما بتكون عن الإسرائيلي أغلبها بتكون عن يعني الجيش أو الجنود أو إيش إيش بيسوا قاعدين مثلاً حصار في غزة أو إيش زي هيك. تي عادي طعم بتزرع يتر كمان شنو عادة مخدشات شاف ده شمي ويتر كيتسانيم ما هو ده تيم كيلو شلوش تيم على الكل كلهم شمي وكيتسانيم بعيد نعود و. חשבתי שהם כאילו שרובם עניים ודברים כאלה ובאים מבתים הרבה ילדים וחלקם יחפים וכאלה כי רואים בחדשות יחפים כאלה עם בתים הרוסים I mean, if you look at the, the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, the Israelis are the angels and the Palestinians are the devils and every Palestinian has a su- is a suicide bomber and all the Israelis are like little angels and stuff from from the Canadian or from the from the news perspective that's what I believe that I'm being shown at least uh, I kid no diamond diamond I'm sure for the television and this him at when he met Palestinian okay for I'm doing this but I am a shimmy hand no much better at a cooker in sun oh had a line Virginia yeah and this may be crawl for a senior you know this we have but no at long we oh my I'm doing a mini بس أنا بعد ما جيت على هذا المخيم تغير كل كل شيء يعني. I had different ideas of kind of living conditions like the way that I saw it being portrayed I I guess I just never really figured that daily life was going on that people were you know going to universities from the way that I had understood it it made it seem like everybody was kind of living in a in a camp and kind of like a, like a war. מפתיע אותי כמה הם יותר עשירים ממני, אני רואה אנשים זורקים פה כסף ואני כזה, וואלה, אתם לא גרים באיזה חור? כי לפי דעתי באמת בתקשורת מציגים את השטחים לא כמקום סימפטי במיוחד לגור בו, לא כמקום טוב, אלא כמקום בלי חיים, שום דבר לא גדל שם וזה לא נכון. بعتقد ان الصوره اللي اخذتها من الصحافه ومن الاعلام ككل كانت غير كامله، صوره غير كامله عن الوضع داخل اسرائيل او الوضع اللي بيصير هنا. فلما اجينا هون وشفنا الاسرائيليين وكيف بيتعاملوا وكيف كنا وشو طموحاتهم وش يعني انهم حابين السلام زي ما احنا حابينه فتغيرت قناتي. مش تغيرت تكملت الصوره اللي كانت ناقصه عندي. I'm a freelance journalist, which means that I write for um, <clears throat> different newspapers. Mm-hmm. And um, the paper that this article will be for is called The Tai, and it's a um, it's an alternative newspaper, and they um, emphasize investigative journalism. Mm-hmm. And so how do you choose uh, what subject to cover? Like- 
How do I choose? Uh, yeah, like my heart. Um, whatever has some, whatever is meaningful to me. And so it's usually something to do with a um, social change, social movement, or the environment. I see that the world uh, requests me to be uh, more developed and to have new ways to reach your message. So I created my own website, uh, which have my own stories, my own experiences, and the pictures that I take. And I see that I can, uh, by writing on it, I can reach my message to thousands of people. I try to spread it wherever I go and I can exchange information, news and opinions with many different people in this world from different nationalities and cultures. Most of the thing that I work on is political things. I've been working as photo training photojournalists in three years. I want to show in my own media the situation of my people, the how is the life and I want to show also the some of the problems and some of the things that the young people face in their life. I want to help the, the youths who cannot speak about themselves and who cannot introduce in themselves in a good way. Have you ever had, had, um, had made something in it for the media and you were not allowed to show it? Uh, no. Really? No. Okay. I, and this is what I think, like, no one, I, I think that no one can forbid me to show what I do. I can show it like this is my website. If they don't want to show it in the magazines, the newspapers, I can put it in my website and no one has the right to to forbid me. I've always found that uh, film and television especially are really powerful ways of um, touching people and a lot of people really quickly. Um, and that made me want, <coughs> want to be, and I think that's, um, I think that's probably what inspired me to come and try and make some films of my own. When people see young people trying to make change, it often inspires them more than adults trying to make change. I'm not sure why, but it does. <laughs> so this is so we have the opportunity to influence people better now than we will for the rest of our lives. So we should use take control. I think it's. It. Only if we uh, if we keep trying and we keep faith in each other and just um, keep working away at it and making new films if we need to, or um, as Mahmoud is doing, writing our own journalist journalism stories or doing whatever we have to, that'll make the change. So I guess this is just the start. The film off is so much fun. <laughs>